Hey y'all, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this gorgeous purple and green makeup look. So I really hope that you guys are excited and let's just go ahead and get started. So for today's look, I'm going to be using the Gourmand Girls Spectra Palette. You guys already know I really do enjoy this palette. I'm going to start off using this gorgeous like deep purple shade called Butterfly Kisses. And I'm starting off using my finger to apply this shade today. And that is because I wanted the shadow to be as opaque as it possibly possibly could as this shadow is going to be the star of the show and I wanted to make sure I prevented any possible fallout from happening so this technique was great essentially I just start patting and rubbing it all over my lid lightly blending it out with my finger up in the crease I then go in and take a clean blending brush just to buff out all the edges because of course we don't want any harsh lines and I just go back and forth between using my finger to pack it on and the brush to blend out the edges until I'm satisfied with this color placement. Next, I'm dipping into the shade called Virgo, which is this gorgeous like pinky purple shade. And on a clean blending brush, I'm just going to buff this all along the edges, really blending it up into my brows and into my inner corner, as you can see here. I hadn't done a wing in a while, so I decided today was the day. So I'm going in and using my Hank and Henry Slick With It liner. You guys know this is my tried and true. And we're just going to have a little dance break, so don't mind me. But this is a perfect time for me to tell you that every product that I used on my face is going to be linked down below. So do check there if you are curious. For my waterline, I am doing a mixture of different... Um, eyeliners here just to kind of get the color I was looking for because I didn't have it in my collection so um, those will be listed down below just so you guys know because I don't know all the names off the top of my head but essentially I'm mixing a blue and a yellow together and then I just kind of smudge it with my finger to create a green and then I go in with this deeper uh, green liner that's from ColourPop just to put right on my lashes and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Bite Size Shadow Palette in Hot Jalapeno and I'm going to take that deep green on a flat definer brush and push it right up to my lashes. And then I'm taking that lighter green on a tiny little blending brush just to buff it all out. You guys, this color combo is everything. It's kind of giving me Barney Couture and I'm living for it because um, I love Barney. Bet you didn't know that about me. I did pop on some mascara as well as some lashes in the style Yas Queen, I think. It's Yas Queen, Yas Girl, whichever Yas Queen from Lily Lashes. Mm, you guys, it's late when I'm doing this. I'm then taking the Gourmand Girls Bold and Brilliant Highlighter Palette and I'm using the shade Pink Diamond as my inner corner highlight. I thought it really complemented that pinky purple shade that I used really, really well. Back to the face, I am going to be using my ABH Rosewood Bronzer, like my favorite bronzer ever, and I'm going to bronze pretty heavily today, what's new, but I'm just going to put this all over my cheeks, you guys are going to get to enjoy it as I kind of sing in between it, so yeah. All right, we're gonna move along from that. I'm gonna take my LA Girl Just Peachy Blush and focus this primarily on the back portion of my cheeks, but of course, I'm gonna pop it on my nose because this wouldn't be a tutorial by me if I didn't. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Hustler Baby and put that on all my high points. And then last but not least for lips, I'm taking this Morphe lipstick in the shade Honey and just lightly popping that on since the eyes were so bold. And there you have it, you guys. This is the completed makeup look. I really liked how it turned out. I think the colors complement each other so well. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, you guys know the drill. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!